hey my friends so do you wonder what is an autoresponder what have you heard that before autoresponder getting it's an email list manager it's an email list provider or an email list hosting service that lets you send out emails we're going to talk about that in a second and we're also going to show you Aweber the one that I use a little bit a demo how to set things up and we're going to do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so if you've been doing online marketing or if you're thinking of doing it you're trying to sell a course you're trying to build an audience trying to grow a list that's what we talk about when we talk about growing a list a list is what um an, an autoresponder is all about it's a, something that lets you build a list of emails and then send to them on a regular basis either using what they call broadcasts or um, or or follow-up series or campaigns there's all these different things that you can do with an email list builder like that now I use Aweber we're going to show you how to use Aweber and before we talk about that let's just well actually let me just show you what uh, that is so let's just share the screen here let's go back here where's that the stuff uh there we go all right so Aweber you know of course if you it's, it's got an affiliate program too so yes of course go to aweber.jeansergegagnon.com so that's aweber.jeansergegagnon.com to uh to to get a free trial 14-day free trial um and how to use it so this basically has uh this is you know aweber is just one of multi there's 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 um I don't know there's tons of them here let's just look it up right so best email autoresponder right if I just search for that right there's get response there's a there's there's a Mailchimp there's a there's a there's SendGrid um but I mean if you look at you know say some list like this that the nine the ten best or whatever right if we just look at that just what are the best ones I don't know where Aweber is in the list I've just been using Aweber for a long time and uh, let's just take a look at this what do they say they say HubSpot get response Aweber is number three that's pretty good considering that HubSpot is something I've never heard about get response I've certainly heard about it and then of course there's uh, more advanced ones uh, like uh, Infusionsoft it's not even in the list because it's apparently super complicated but it lets you do lots of things although the newer ones or or recently like sites like Aweber do let you do things that they couldn't let you do right so I mean if you look through this uh, this is an example of a, a blog post it's not mine I'm just showing you this because this is an example of something that kind of shows you the difference between the different uh, platforms and all that now I'm not going to go through all those because I use one I use Aweber right and the fact that I use Aweber just means I know how to use it and I can kind of show you how to use it I can can show you how to uh, how you can you know benefit from it but I mean the thing is that the cool thing about an autoresponder is that it lets you send emails while you sleep while you're you know while you're not you're not uh, you well while you're sleeping while you're eating while you're working all that you don't have to worry about um doing it being there it's it's that's one of the things and the other thing that's cool about it too is if you do the right things if you do the right strategies if you set up the right things automate the right things you're going to see you know results from your uh, efforts because it'll be um the, the, you build up you know some say that from an email list you get one dollar a month per person on your list right so if you have a thousand subscribers you should be making a thousand if you have two thousand to ten thousand subscribers you should be making ten thousand hundred thousand you should be making a hundred thousand so you should be building your list now how do you build your list if we go to my blog uh if we go to my blog right you're gonna see uh that and now my blog is jeansergegagnon.com right that's j-e-a-n s-e-r-g-e gagnon.com right so on my blog you're going to see there's all my blog posts right the like this post here I'm going to post on here and you can also see on the side here I've got a couple of things that make 
make you able to subscribe so I've got a freebie here which is my top 10 simple online strategies if I just click on this I just want to open it up to show you so basically it's it goes to masterofsimple.com it lets you put your name and email in there and you get that free ebook right the other thing is I've got this don't miss a thing here you put your email in here and lets you go in there and any of these other uh, things I have down here at the bottom of my blog you know traction marketing paid marketing secrets how to build your ebook any of these that you click on by the way you can get access to that to be able to give those to your your people so that you grow your list so if I just click on one of these it takes me to a page that lets me like for example this one how to create your first ebook for for free right you just click this and then it asks you for a name and email and then you get access to it right so that's the, that's how you build your list first of all you got to build your list but then how well I mean you have to have those things to be able to build your list but that's not necessarily how you uh, I can't just just tell people go there and do that right you also have to be building an audience you have to be growing your social media platform you have to be pro uh, providing value to your audience like me I'm, I'm showing you how to use Aweber right now I'll, I'll get into that in a second so first of all you have to sign it sign up you click on the free trial after you go to my link you put your name and email and then billing and all that they don't charge you right right away you can get a savings uh, an annual or quarterly or monthly first month free um and, and uh, do that and then start a free trial right so let's talk about that now I'm just going to sign in of course because I already have an account so we're just going to go in here and you're going to see my numbers I don't have that many subscribers right now I only have 1100 as you can see so uh, when you go in there first thing you got to do you got to go manage your list you got to create a list so you're not going to have all these lists some say you should have one list and I the word the reason why I have multiple lists is for me it's because I have different giveaways like let's go back let's just uh, go back here um leave list setup I'll just do it again in a second but if I look at my list right manage lists I have a whole bunch of different lists right my 12-step master class uh 20k Facebook fans um some of my uh, originally MLM stuff some phase some automation stuff I did I have a Bitcoin stuff that I did I've got a Bitcoin ebook and you can see the number of subscribers in here on the side you can see how many people are in each of these different lists right I had a TikTok master's course I did some Bitcoin stuff I mean that's but the thing is that I clean that up too right so when you when you look at this list you can see how many subscribers I have like this one here is really the the one that because I have subscribers I put in there automatically when they subscribe to other things but if I look at something like for example uh getting their number right so this list here the reason why I have it separate is because in my messages my follow-up series here and I'll kind of show you a few of these things I have the ebook so when they first subscribe to that list they get this ebook this particular ebook because they're wanting to learn how to get people's numbers right so this is an ebook that if I show you what the email kind of looks like it's an, an email that has a link to the actual ebook to get uh, th to this 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 ebook I did right 10 newest secrets and getting their number right so when when they get the email they get the link to the ebook I don't send them the ebook when they subscribe I send them an email that gives them a link so that way if they don't give me their a proper email address they don't get the ebook so they have to give me a, a, a valid um <clears throat> a valid email address to get what I'm giving them right so that's one thing uh so if I look at my other lists this is another example the other one is let me see well the 12 step master class uh, no not the master class the 12 step um sorry uh there's a the 12 step uh, to your online success that's one uh, another ebook that I did recently and if I look at the messages the first email they get is this the 12 critical steps to online success which is a link to their um oh yeah restart eh? let's not worry about that get that out of there so yeah so they get again they get an email with the the link to get the ebook right so and that's the thing so the only way that they can get the free ebook that I'm sending them is if they put a valid email right all right so now when I so that's why I have multiple lists so let's just show you how to create a list you click on the manage list at the top then you click on the create list 
and then I'm just right now your account once you set up your account you've got your company name your website your basic website your address you want to put in here and then your name and then your email click on next step and then you say what is this list so let's just, let's just call this test list for um for 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 episode so this is just a test list right okay so uh, I'm just going to click on next step so this of course you would put the name of the list here and you would put a description because this is something that if somebody tries to unsubscribe to your list you want them to see what the list was about so that they know whether they should unsubscribe because you know maybe they're getting emails and they don't like it and they want to unsubscribe and by the way that's one of the things you really want to do you want to make sure that people can unsubscribe to your list and you, that you're that they are unsubscribing if they're not interested in your content because it's so important that they don't you know they don't stay on your list you're paying for them to be on your list basically right so why would you want somebody who's not interested right so the next step is uh what different things like this right your default subject uh oh this is no sorry this is the uh, confirmation so when they first subscribe to your list they're supposed to get a, a, an opt-in message so they get an email saying you asked to get in this list please confirm so they got to confirm it they click on this button and then they get uh, an email an email so if you were to try, if I was to create something to allow somebody to subscribe to this new list uh I would I would then have so now I'm in this list right where's the list test list for episode see now I can create a message let's create a message I'm just gonna there's three different editors I'm not going to go through them all because I mainly use this one there are different editors depending on your style and how much you like um, advanced stuff but I always use the basic one so let's just create a message here we're going to say you know uh let's just uh, load this up we're going to say welcome welcome to whoops welcome to my test list and then you can add a personalization here I can say subscriber info I can say their first name like this right so that'll be in the subject thanks for being a loyal thanks for anyways and you do whatever you want in here here's the here's the info I promised you will soon get the next message now obviously what you put in your first email and how you set things up is important I'm not this is not what I wanted to cover here the content is self <coughs> itself is is a separate thing uh, but the, for now I'm just gonna just create a simple thing let's just add an image here you can add an image I can upload an image here let's just put uh, one of these uh, this one here this is what I usually do I put these gifts right in my messages so there's an image here I can uh, put a link to it so that if they click on it I can go to a specific link and that kind of stuff there's all this other stuff you can add to your um you know headline let's put a headline welcome then let's center it right all this stuff is all very very <coughs> uh you know you can add a video buttons all sorts of things right and now we just say save and exit and that saves the message uh, in a draft state once it's in a draft you can choose what to do with it you can either schedule a broadcast so scheduling a broadcast means send this message at a specific time in the future right could be in an hour could be tomorrow could be next week could be in a month from now so you can set up a whole bunch of emails that go to your subscriber on a specific date the follow-up series is basically the emails that you want them to get from the day they subscribe until the end of the list and you set that follow-up series the way you want it can be every hour it can be every day it can be every week it doesn't really matter but the follow-up series there's only one of them there's one follow-up series that they will get you know an email uh, through that sequence you know that sequence I'll show you how that works so I'll just put this in add to our, our follow-up sequence and <clears throat> you definitely want to make sure that you have uh, the clicks enabled because you want to track that so let's create a second message I'm just going to create a second message to show you how that works um how the the we'll, we'll create three of them so this is message number two so test message number two this is message number two all right we'll just do that like this save and exit and then 
and then what happens is you just said add to follow up right so let's just do that and right over here you can say how 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 far you know in the future you want it to be right so is it going to be one day later is it going to be two days later so number of days I guess you can't put hours I, I didn't remember it's been so long it's just days right and then you can also edit that they can get it at a specific time right you can have it send a specific time during the day and you can also do other things like this and then if you have multiple if you have multiple uh, if you've set up like 10 10 email uh, follow-up series right then you can have um, you can set two days and change it to two days and then it'll change it for all the messages that kind of stuff right so they just say that and I'm going to show you afterwards uh, something here so then I'll create a well let's not worry about it so you get the idea right so number three we can do the same thing and all that now the other thing is when you're in your list you can create a message let's create a message and I'll show you how to set up the broadcast right do that again um, and then we'll go uh, test broadcast let's just do that so test broadcast right this is a test broadcast right all right so we're just going to save that like that of course obviously the content you've got to think it through a little bit more but then over here you go schedule a broadcast so in this in this when you schedule a broadcast you can choose whether you want to share it on a Facebook page right whether you want to share it on on Twitter if you've got that integrated I'm just going to do that the other thing you can do too is you can say I want to send this to all my lists or just to this list or these these few lists but but I don't want to send to these lists you can exclude things you can say include all lists except for the for these ones so I want to exclude these ones right so and, and that kind of thing you can you can say that that's what you want to send now you can send it immediately uh, right now or you can schedule it for the future you know another month you know like say July 15th I can send it July 15th at a specific time 9 a.m and you can specify the time zone right that kind of stuff right I can do this and then I can say schedule message for that time right so now when I click on that it's going to show up in my list of broadcasts it's going to be scheduled and if I look at my messages I can go in here I can say in my broadcast well actually I was already there you haven't sent any broadcasts sorry uh scheduled uh, broadcast oh schedule right there so when you go on scheduled you can see when it's scheduled for right here so let's just unschedule that I don't want that I don't want to send that test out later on but let's go back to my one of my lists that I I use to send messages all the time where is it simple and also I want to show you kind of how that works so my simple online strategies is one where uh if I go to my broad my follow-up series <coughs> you can see here I've got a follow-up series basically what I did with that list is the first message you get my simple online strategies that's actually the book you'll get if you click on this top 10 simple online strategies on my blog if you just click on that it takes you to masterofsimple.com and in that page if you put your name Neil you'll get this ebook which will be this first email from the broadcast series you'll get the email then every single day after that every day starting at noon I've got it set to start at noon it'll send the simple online strategies number one number two number three so I'm basically sending out the 10 simple online strategies and then at the end I send a another email that says I'm excited for you talking about other things that I promote right and the thing is that th that's one of the things you got to learn is in online marketing you can't just send them an offer right away you got to kind of get they got to get to know you now this is not the best or the most efficient uh or what they recommend highly like if you listen to Russell Bunch and he talks about he talks a lot about um your attractive character and he talks about uh your soap opera sequence and then he talks about your Seinfeld sequence which I'm not doing right now yet uh, but basically that this is similar in the sense that it's emails you send in the beginning and you don't broadcast until after that right so I have to I have to fix that um, in time but for now this is what I've been doing so if I look at any of these emails if I click on this one oh actually you can see right here the open rate 50 percent 30 percent 36 percent uh I actually clicked the wrong thing here let's just 
well but you can see that this is basically a post that I did with a link to the, the to the all of the videos and a link to the first video and I have the, the the topic and basically I have the text that explains what this particular strategy is because I'm sending out 10 strategies right <clears throat> so let's just go back I just wanted to show you here so if you look at this you can see on the side 55 percent open the first email 31 percent 36 26 31 30 21 so anything above 20 percent is considered acceptable in the uh so you know you see this number 10 I only have 17 but I did have 21 percent open rate in the last one and that's kind of one of the things that you can see in Aweber you can see how many uh open your message now if I go to let's see what else can I show you the broadcasts that I sent out in this list <clears throat> so this is the sent broadcast you can see how many people opened it and there's a complaint here so lots of times the complaint is just somebody who's like I don't want to get these emails they just don't subscribe that's fine that's just part of it and how many people opened it right uh 101 I don't know why I got 101 opened on this compared to the uh, it's like double right 93 106 so I'm getting some of these open more others that's not that great but it's pretty you know if you look at the you can see the percentage here four percent thirteen percent five percent six percent it's not very good right 12 13 but still 10 10 to 15 percent is still considered pretty good four percent that's just because I sent that just now that's just from this morning right sent out this morning uh, at 8 a.m just a few minutes ago um but yeah so that's one of the things and if you look and then there's there's lots of other things you can do uh, split testing and you can set up uh campaigns let me see if I can show you can do I have campaigns in here there's the other thing you can do with uh, a Weber is campaign so that's something I was actually working on the soap opera sequence campaign uh basically with a campaign what's cool about a campaign is you can set it up let's just uh, edit this can I just I just click on this so with a campaign you can set okay send this message then a day later send another message right and then you can say okay I want to wait instead of a day let's wait you know to let's let's say I want to wait five hours I want to send this five hours later I send another message right I can apply a tag so if they if they if they uh, open the email then apply this tag right and then the thing that you can do with that is that then you can say whenever somebody uh whenever this tag is applied subscribe them to this list or send them this message you can do all these things where you connect things all together and it's pretty cool what you can do I haven't really spent too much time doing that yet but um yeah but that's kind of what that is so let's just say cancel here I don't want to worry about it uh what else you can have sign up forms this is one of the things you can do you can have a sign up form like this one here I got the sign up form that I've got which is an inline form I I don't even know if I use it anywhere but I did create it where you can actually put that on your blog on your page we can have people uh well you can whenever they put their email in there it subscribes them to your list right whatever your list is uh there's landing pages which I haven't used but I guess it's kind of like a, a, a page you can you can create right um and then when you go to your dashboard it's basically the the, the you know the the schedule post and the percentage what's scheduled uh, how many opens you got on the most recent ones and then you, you list stats and you can do all sorts of things one of the things that I I do is I clean up my email lists I haven't been really really trying to grow it super 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 big super big super fast because I'm really trying to get people that subscribe that really are interested in what I'm doing so I'm just posting like you've seen daily episodes I'm doing the um the uh, audio series right on on SoundCloud and on uh, Alexa and I'm doing these different things and that's what I'm doing to grow my list and you should be doing something similar too right so hopefully this helped a little bit um again if you have any questions on uh on Aweber then you can go to um find me and send me a message or email me and we can have a conversation and maybe I can help you out with some of the stuff if you have specific questions let me know and until next time this um yeah until the next episode we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets. 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.